We're going to begin here with 1926 to 1930, which was a very extraordinarily fertile uh, period for Calder. Uh, he moved to Paris, began his Sir Calder, and expanded upon his wire sculpture. And this, of course, is one of the amazing Marc Vaux photographs. Um, he took a number of photographs from the time, some of the first of Calder's sculpture in motion. But this is a photograph of Leger, featuring the shadows of the sculpture. We have on our website a series of photographs like this by Marc Vaux, where the shadow is more present than the wire, which is mm -hmm. totally amazing. We've tried to get back to this in some of our exhibitions to show the shadow as the art and the wire as the element, you know, the, the tool to make the art, the shadow. Mm -hmm. The shadow is so much more cinematographic and present. These really help to show that. And we have a few more here also from 29 photographs um, from a film. Oh yeah, that's fa fascinating. So this is actually a film still of him with one of his wire, Josephine Baker's. I think that's Josephine Baker 4 that he's holding. And that's a photographic print from the movie film that went through the Pathé camera. And then these are pictures of a person who's there during the filming who's taking still pictures. So they're not actually film stills, technically. They're, they're photographs taken at the same time. And seeing Kiki de Montparnasse uh, there with her hat on, it took a long time for us to realize that during the filming, the hat, that this you know, fantastic hat from the 1920s, is actually rendered in the portrait. And the famous portrait of Kiki de Montparnasse that's at the Pompidou, Gift of Calder, is not the one he did this day. So, so Pathé asked Calder, can we come and do a newsreel of you in your studio? just to show people what artists, what these bohemian artists are up to. And he says, great, I'll invite this famous model, Kiki, to come and sit for me while I make the portrait. That's the story behind this, this newsreel. Mm -hmm. And you can see in one of these other snapshots that we don't have right here, the wire portrait has the hat on, and the second wire portrait doesn't have the hat on. So he actually made two versions. Okay. Um, and I would propose that he made the second version probably from memory. Um, he remembered the geometry of her sharp nose and, you know, the details of her face. Mm 